Let's make absurdly early conclusions about Zul'jin. The Reddit frontline. Oh, shall we do uh, Grubby Digest? We'll do... Uh, we'll read the news together. We can pretend that I'm your father, grandfather or husband. And uh, we just woke up. And we're, we're having some coffee. And uh, I'm reading the news to you. <clears throat> Facebook Live. You hear that, honey? Facebook has gone live. A new social networking website. <laughs> Facebook has been live for a long time. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I've been using Facebook for years. And Reddit just found out. It'd be cool if took off in Heroes of the Storm. Nice. Very nice. You hear that? <laughs> Zuljin straight berserker. So his trait is Zuljin gains 1% attack speed per 1% of missing health. Greetings, nice. friend. Hello. Hello. Thank you for the reset. So that means that you're going to have moments where you ask your healer not to heal you because you want to deal the, the crazy damages. That's going to ensue in a lot of hilarious situations. But as a trait as a hero, I think that's a good mechanic. I think it's fun. And it has play and counterplay embedded in itself. Very cool. Uh, Zul'jin can activate Berserker to increase the damage of his basic attacks by 25% at the cost of 2% of maximum health per attack. That seems like it would be a toggle. So if you can toggle that on and off, that can be pretty interesting. A very... Um, interactive trait that you continually will on and off depending on what you want to get out of it can you miss the health yes or no uh, it's gonna feel reminiscent of Gul'dan uh, well with his trait though do you think it will be harder to stutter step automatically now that's a really good point Aurelians and I think the important thing is how Zul'jin feels how is his attack wind up his attack animation and the attack finishing and the projectile how is the sound technique behind it that is very key if you have a very distinct auto attack sound that can help you with the rhythm of doing a good auto attack rhythm even if his attack speed is non-stop variable so if it's like and, and you know like from the moment of a, per, a certain sound you can start moving and there's other moments in the certain sound order where you can't move yet then you, let's say every time you hear I thank you and like as, My you can start moving is there yeah, it doesn't matter for like what heroes go in what it's lane in jungles or whatever thank you again my son yes um solo laners will be people with self heal generally that's the easiest way to say so don't draft without a solo healer, a uh, solo laner, um, and a solo laner can self heal. For example, Thrall can self heal, and so can Gul'dan. So they're okay solo laners. Uh, and then the Q. Zul'jin throws an axe forward, dealing damage to the first two enemies' hit and marking them for eight seconds. Marked enemies take fifty percent bonus damage from Zul'jin. Next three basic attacks against them. So my first question is, what about Abathur? If Abathur copies Zul'jin and you've got two and one marks them, is that double axe thrower bonus damage or are the marks individual? And if, uh, and I'm thinking it's probably copy effect, like they can benefit from each other's. Because that's how it works with Jaina's chill. Jaina, Abathur clone can chill for each other. So that that's pretty nice if you can have two of those. But if it is individual, then they would need a different color coding or something. Aki says, here's the talents. Okay, let's take a look at that. I will move myself. Oops. Uh, Zul'jin's talent so far, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Cube, Bone Slicer. Oh, here's Talents. Okay, so we'll look at this a bit more. 
Um, twin Cleave throws two axes in a large circular arc, dealing damage and slowing enemies affected by 15% per axe. Does that mean 30% for two axes? Hmm, thinking. If it's just 15%. I think it's 30% if you hit with two, but if it's just 15, that's not a lot. So it's just kind of like a, a wave clear area of effect damage. Um, regeneration. Zuljin's channels to regen. I'm glad he has regen. Uh, I'm modeling Zuljin after the Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3 Headhunter, uh, particularly the Warcraft 3 one. And uh, that one also had Berserker, attack speed, and takes bonus damage while he has attack speed. It's an activatable, and he had big regeneration. And so it's nice they have that, obviously, as a troll in the Warcraft universe. Channels to regenerate 20... Channels to regenerate 25% of his max maximum. 20, 25. Okay, Zildjian channels to regenerate. Okay, sorry, lame. Uh, anyway, Zildjian channels to regenerate 25% of his maximum health over 4 seconds. Moving or taking damage while channeling will interrupt this effect. Alt 1, Tans Dingo. Zildjian is unkillable for the next 4 seconds and cannot be reduced to less than 1 health. Tans Dingo. Nice. So you can hover around at 4 seconds with... Uh, Almost 100% bonus attack speed, 25% bonus damage, and during those 4 seconds it goes ham. Uh, specifically, I haven't seen any trait or basic ability that gives him bonus movement speed yet. So he would need to either get that from abilities or from allies, because no matter how much attack speed you have, if you don't have a little bit of bonus movement speed, a lot of it goes to waste in, in, in practice, in reality. So I'm curious to see how the talents work out. Uh, guillotine, the second one, Zuljin throws a massive guillotine into the sky, nice, that crashes down on enemies in the targeted area. The lower Zuljin's health, the more damage it deals. So I guess it's snapshots when he throws it up, and not snapshots when uh, it lands. Because if you snapshot friend. when it lands, and you're dead by the time it lands, do you do infinity damage? Can't divide by zero, after all. Let's take a look at his talents. Level 1. Bone Slicer. Grievous Throw now pierces through enemies, and bonus damage increased by 15%. Passive. Arcanite Axis. Twin Cleave cooldown reduced by half a second for every hero hit. Ability power is increased by 25% while below 50% health. Huh. Wow. Wow. Do you want axe? Every five basic attacks used against heroes increases your basic attack damage by one and a half upon reaching 24 stacks. Uh, 120. 120 hits. How is Vala? Crete of the Hunter is 100, and this is 120 hits. You permanently gain 20% range. Damn, dude. Bonus damage and range at level 1? With incremental advantages. Yeah, this is the one. You can delete the other two abilities. I yearn for combat. Should we not join the queue? Greetings, Uncapped friend. bonus damage. This is a difficult quest reward, make no mistake, but it comes earlier than Vala. You can just delete these two abilities. <laughs> Do you want a little bit more splash damage around you with some flying axes? Like, no, are we in a freaking friend. circus? Are we juggling? Are we jugglers? Or do we want to kill people? In the game, in video games, kill characters. The part of hunting is the waiting. Have fun, jugglers, but I'm gonna clown off with this one. Anyway, next. Troll's Blood. Increases regeneration healing by 75%. Pretty cool. Um, let the killing be let the killing begin. That's their... Greetings, uh, friend. It's their... 
Isn't it their finished production quote? Thanks for the subs, guys. Spankenstein Monster, Double Zuik, Fronevi, and Dosbox Let's Play. Um, enemies killed by you increase your attack speed by 6% Greetings, for 10 seconds. Hi, Grubby Doosus Zukush Nude. Best stream. What's his dust then? Uh, enemies killed by you increase your attack speed by 6% for 10 seconds. Enemies, not enemy heroes. Stacking up to 5 times. Now, by my quick calculations, that's up to 30%. And attacks refresh duration. Wait, attacks refresh duration, not kills. So you kill someone, a minion, you attack a wall after 8 seconds, and 8 seconds later you kill another minion, you've got 12% for 10 seconds. So it is a more forgiving Vala Hatred stack counter, with 30% bonus uh, attack speed. Well met, friend. It doesn't do as much as Vala's trade. Okay. Enemies killed by you. It doesn't talk about grace period. Enemies killed by you. Do you have to last hit? Or is it within 0.75 seconds of hitting a minion and it dies? Or is it like Asmodan? One second. It's been one and a half before. Is it Nazebo? Poisoned? Which is like four or six seconds. Doesn't say. Doesn't say yet. So I don't know. I'm gonna assume it has some grace period, but it doesn't say how much. But either way, this looks probably pretty easy to get. That's quite good. Increasing regeneration by 75% is also pretty good. That's like 37% or no? 75% of this 18. Thirty-three, forty-three, 43% of your max health, roughly, if you get Troll's Blood. That's pretty good too. Mm, obviously better for quick match and no support games than it is for uh, team games. This is better for team game. And then a quest. Kill all unique enemy heroes. Oh, Hat Hunter. So you become a bounty hunter. Kill all unique enemy heroes. Reward. Activate to reveal all enemy heroes for four seconds. That's so bad. <laughs> it's funny, but it's really bad. You need to hit, kill all five of them, and then you can reveal them for a very short period of time without being able to act on it, probably. And it's like, can you do it once, and then you have to kill all five of them again? Or can you activate it with a zero second cooldown and reveal them all the time so long as you keep pressing it or does it have a one minute cooldown i'm assuming a one minute cooldown maybe it's pretty cool if you can do that all the time but i don't know the cooldown yet but it looks really bad just my initial thoughts i'm, I'm willing to eat my words op op i like to eat vicious assault increases the number of charges to six Basic attacks against afflicted heroes reduces cooldowns by two seconds. Okay, I can't really measure the effect of such an ability. If, if Q build turns out to be good, this is good too. If an enemy is hit by both axes at the same time, deal bonus damage. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, that, that's gonna be funny. We don't know how much, but I'm assuming it's pretty much because this seems a pretty tough conditional. And, and skillful. A skillful boomeranger troll could aim to hit someone in the same place at the same time. I like it, it's funny. Uh, trait, recklessness. While below 50% health, gain 25% bonus attack damage. Really good for much of our quick match allies, isn't it, guys? I would. Re you know what? Just to do everyone a favor, I'm gonna put this one in my builds, okay? Exclamation mark Zul'jin. 
If you don't know what you're doing, take this. You're probably reckless. Uh, the heroics, we've seen them just now. Eye of Zul'jin. Hitting an enemy hero with Grievous Throw increases movement speed. Aha! That's what we were looking for. Now we can become a kiting monster. This is important for an auto attacker. Bonus movement speed. Falstad has it often, especially with the double trait build at 1316, which by the way you should get. And Vala has it with Hot Pursuit and even her trait without Hot Pursuit. So this is very important. Regeneration no longer has to be channeled, damage still breaks the heal. So it becomes like healing solve in Warcraft 3. A non-combat, passive, bonus effect, regeneration. But if you get hit, it stops. Just like healing solve. No longer need to channel. Mm, it's good, but it's not good enough. Compared to Eye of Zul'jin, in my opinion. The only way you would use this is if you're traveling to an objective or walking away from fight. I guess it's okay. It's gonna save you two seconds. Two to four seconds, but this is better. Voodoo Shuffle, activate to remove all slow and root effects. I mean, it's good that it exists. It's, um, it's good that it exists. You might favor this over Ring of Frost, counter uh, against Earthquake, Mighty Gust. You know, you don't get to have Ice Block, so you have this instead. Definitely keep this as a conditional choice, a situational one, but this is the main one, it's, it's clear. Level 16, Swirling Death. Axis, cycle twice. Wait, how can Axis cycle? Axis cycle twice and can hit enemies on each revolution, but cooldown is increased by 4 seconds. <laughs> we helicopter! So that is pretty good zoning and damage, but the cooldown is increased, which is always too bad when there's a, a downside to it, a negative. Lacerate. Increases slow amount of each axe by 15%. Mm, so does that mean 30 plus 30? I would say so. It's not 15% on 15%, right? Uh, if it's 15% or 50%, that's, that's really not very much. Uh, I'm assuming it's 30 plus 30. That's pretty good. It can be 60% slow total. 30 or 60. Ferocity. Admirable ferocity. Increases the attack speed bonus of Berserker by 50%. What? Wait. Wait, what? The attack speed bonus. Okay, so you get 1.4% attack speed per 1% of missing health. So you can choose slow, more... Okay, either you slow opponents by quite a lot, or you can deal more damage in a shorter period of time, or you get non-stop bonus sustained auto attack speed. I cannot predict which one will be best here. I think all three are good. This one is definitely going to be the one that draws the most attention, but it's not necessarily going to be the best. I think all three are good. This is the lightning rod, draws all the attention. Amani Resilience. Wait, what, what does this have to do with shoes? He's got tough shoes, probably made of uh, troll leather. Uh, restore health equal to 50% of the damage he dealt with Tast while using Tastingo. Oh, that's really good. Oh, you can go ham without reservations. That is really good. I, I will get the, I'll get a pair of that. Bustle after impact, the guillotine conteases. Conteases? What is that? 
The guillotine continues rapidly forward, dealing damage to enemies in the line. I'm not sure about that. It's probably good. Throw a net. Yes. We raiders now. So if you haven't played Warcraft 3, there was this uh, unit in, uh, in, in Warcraft 3 called the Raider. Unfortunately, this might mean we're not going to get a Raider into the Nexus. But anyway, they had a basic ability that didn't cost mana. It just had a cooldown, which was Ensnare. And other races loved to get b tied up by us, basically. They loved the fact that they didn't need to spend any mental faculties on needing to micro their units because it was effectively rooted in place for the short period of time of 12 seconds just for an ensnare and the cooldown of the ensnare by the way was 12 seconds so they really thought it was very hilarious as they stood and watched and i ravaged their base ensnaring all of their units in place um also they could not be dispelled so that was pretty damn cool um throw a net forward rooting the first enemy hit i like it it's a skill shot uh, it seems strong. I don't know how long the route is, I but it seems you. good. Come get I think Darvudi. all three are good at level 20. Um, so now my evaluation in general. Thank you, Omega. Uh, level 20 tier is good. Lots of options. I mean, not lots, but I think the options are good. Uh, level 16 options are good. I think this one is slightly tilted in favor of Eye of Zul'jin. Um, I think Tazdingo is the best, but actually they both seem really good. This is a balanced tier as well, design-wise, I think. Um, the design of this one, I think, is also good by all th of all three. But I think level 1 and 4 are not very, uh, not very balanced in strength. I could be wrong, I hope I'm wrong, but I think there is like trap talent and... Uh, they, it's it's not like these aren't good. It's just this one seems too good. But I could be wrong. Hopefully I am. But overall, a really good hero uh, design. Uh, very fun. We needed a new auto attacker because Vala is pretty much Vala, Rainer, Tychus, and Falstad are like the four ranged auto attackers. If I missed any, it's because they're not valid. Uh, Vala is the main one. Falstad is a global. Tychus is a tank buster, and then you've got uh, you know Rainer, and he. Yeah, Raynor and Vala are like the only ones that you can go for if you want to go stutter step. So it's really good to get a new one. Uh, I enjoy it. I like trolls. He's finally here. So that was the uh, that was the overview. And also increased by 20 seconds. And the damage has been reduced significantly. Which means you will probably no longer die from 100 to 0. Even if you walk in the most unfortunate path possible. Still, I would recommend you to dodge it. Pay attention to that very very short warning time of just 15 seconds when he whispers gently like velvet velvet chocolate in your ear by fire be 